Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Wilton at Art to Life. I've been busy um, signing these paintings. I'm finishing these paintings for this upcoming show. And uh, I was <laughs> working away on them and I thought, well, this is kind of interesting because there's a whole thing around signing your work. And some people sign and some people don't. And I don't know, I do. And the reason I do and uh, is because I think it's important for people to see your name uh, on the front and, and it kind of is like part of the work. It's like it says who made it. So I just think that makes a lot of sense. So I, I just use my last name and I put it on there and it's, it's definitely a second reading. You can see it here as well. It's not super, it doesn't distract from the painting at all. Sometimes you wouldn't even notice it unless you look for it. And so that's, I think really for me, I, I don't wanna make the signature be a distraction. Um, so it's just if someone looks for it, and they do, they actually, you know, it's, it determines, it says that I made it, right? Um, however, on the back of the work, that's where I put more information. So on the back of each of my paintings, I write the title first, and then I write the size in inches of the painting. I write the date, and each of my paintings gets an image number. And this is really important for tracking it, and you know that's unique, and you can find it easily on a computer. I write my name here, and then I put my website here as well, because sometimes people resell these paintings, and they don't know where, if someone sees it and they want to get another one, they can always look on the back, and it's all there. Plus, when you send it to the gallery, they'll sometimes say, oh, you know, what was the name of that one? And it's like, well, no, it's all on the painting, and all that information travels with the work. You can see here also I put a wire on here and um, I tape it so it doesn't catch when it's being transported. Um, and you know I put the wire about a third of the way down. But um, and you can see here, here's the image number that I put on this painting early on when I was making it. I track all the paintings by image number. As soon as I get the panel, I give it an image number even if the painting's not even done. So I know, oh, here's these 15 images, image numbers these are the ones for the show and I have the sizes and I can just see on a spreadsheet what I've got going, you know, same thing for selling it and searching them and everything like that. So I always list that image number because it's totally unique and it's my numbers are four digit and they always start with 8,000 for my fine art. So, um, yeah. And, and, you know, it doesn't really matter the, the size of the work. I tend to put the, uh, the signature in the bottom right corner or the bottom left corner, just somewhere where you can kind of see it, you know, so you can find it anyway, you know. Um, the other thing I do, I've been doing a lot of, is I tend to uh, surface the edges of the paintings. I paint them and kind of clean them up. They feel like the rest of the painting, like it's a similar quality on the side. I don't want to make it distracting, so I do paint the sides and I if there's a little glaze on here, I put a little glaze on there. So the whole thing just feels like an object. And you can see this one is red. This painting is a red painting. And on this one, I decided to make the edges kind of like the front, you know. So I take the dominant color and put it on there because I just like the way the whole thing looks. Generally speaking, most people don't frame my work. Um, and it just is an object that they hang on the wall, which I kind of like. So. Anyway, maybe that will give you guys some ideas as to how you can modify what you're doing or, or maybe you can leave um, me some ideas of, of what works for you because there's a million ways to do this, but it's, it's fun to sort of see how everyone finishes things and, and dials it in. Anyway, hope you're having a great Sunday and I will talk to you real soon. Okay, bye.